Hey Libra, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for February 12th to the 13th of 2022. All right, let's get started with an, um, the signs, actually. Um, I'm going to pull a sign for you, and um, if your sign that you're dealing with doesn't come out, it's no big deal. It may come out during the tarot. This part is just for fun. All right, for Libra. What signs is Libra dealing with? February 12th to the 13th of 2022 for Libra. February 12th to the 13th of 2022 for Libra. What signs is Libra dealing with in the next 48 hours? Ooh, excuse me. Whew. That coffee is catching up to me. All right, we have Leo. Also, these signs could be highly aspected in your chart. We have Gemini. We have Aries. And overall energy is Sagittarius. So you may want to watch those signs if this reading ends up resonating. Oh, we've got all the fire signs. That's funny because Aquarius got all the water signs and you got all the fire signs. But Gemini was in the exact same place. So you may want to even check out the Aquarius reading. That's wild. All right, let's get into the Oracle card message for Libra. February 12th to the 13th of 2022 for Libra. February 12th to the 13th of 2022 for Libra. Next 48 hours for Libra. We have um, Toad Fortune. We have Black Hound for Boating. We have Crab Retreat. So you could be dealing with a cancer. Over on just Black Bird Omens. Aw. So I feel like you may come into a good amount of money or you already have and you're going, you're going to go put it away. But I feel like you're going to go use some of it to go on a little uh, getaway, a mini getaway with someone or someone's doing that for you. Yeah, someone definitely comes into a small fortune that they plan to put away, but also they end up going um, on a small trip in the next 48 hours. Let's get into a tarot and see for Libra. Next 48 hours for Libra. February 12th to the 13th of 2022 for Libra. February 12th to the 13th of 2022 for Libra. All right, we have the Nine of Swords. Okay. Two of Swords, what are you so worried about? Five of Swords, what the hell? This could definitely be dealing with a, another air sign, of crazy, but Gemini, what are you so worried about? Eight of Cups. Oh, oh, oh. Overall energy is Strength Leo. Okay, you get into an argument with someone, a real, real bad argument. I feel like it starts in your head, though, with the Nine of Swords, anxiety, worry. Um, possibly depression for some, sleepless nights, insomnia. You're in your head, two of swords. Because of your anxiety or what you've been going through mentally, a block, yeah, stalemate. You have someone, someone's been very verbally abusive towards you. I feel like you tried to block them off. They're getting inside your head. It could be you to yourself but, or it could be someone to you. So put it where it goes. For some of you, I feel like it's been you to yourself. You have not been getting a lot of sleep and you've just been putting yourself down a lot. For others of you, I feel like it's been someone to you or it could be your fire or Gemini placements messing with your head. With the five of swords, especially negative self-talk or self-doubt or someone placing that on you. And I see with um, eight of cups and retreat, you walk away from this. So, or you're planning a getaway to clear your head. So if this is you to yourself, you're planning a getaway to clear your head, maybe by a beach or a big body of water, a secluded area where you can breathe fresh air and just have peace of mind, peace and quiet. Yeah, for others of you, you're getting away from a person, same thing, a big body of water, um, peace and quiet, fresh air. You're having the strength to pull away from this. All right, let's clarify this. Wow, this reading took a turn. Someone could be trying to fight you for your inheritance or the, the small amount of money that you're getting. Don't let them know about it. But if they already do, just immediately put it away somewhere where they cannot have it and get out of there ASAP. Don't let them know where you're taking it or where you're going. Keep a low profile. Um, clarify this for Libra. Clarify this for Libra. Clarify this for Libra. 
clarify this message for Libra. Clarifying the Nine of Swords or the King of Swords and the Five of Wands. Yes, someone's fighting with you. It's another air sign, possibly a Gemini or someone who has a lot of fire placement. Someone is really uh, verbally abusive. I, I would hope not physically. Someone keeps you up all night arguing with you. Like they just want to drain you. Get away from this person safely. You know, take legal action to have the strength to go. Clarifying the Two of Swords is the Six of Pentacles. Wow. The Hermit card Virgo. Yeah, this person tries to keep you inside. Sorry, this is a trigger warning for anyone. This is um this is definitely like abuse 100%. Clarifying the 5 of swords is the 6 of swords. Yeah, letting go. Also, if you're not going through this now, this is something that you went through in the past and it's bringing it like you having PTSD about it now. It's being brought back up. You're, you're trying to let it go. Yeah, three of cups. That's because this person's trying to contact you again. So you went through this with someone in the past and you left because they were very verbally abusive. For some of you, um, you know, I feel like for some of you, it's very verbally, mentally abusive. For others of you, physically as well. And, and you left them and you cut off all contact with them. And they tried to like isolate you, keep you in the house, keep you away from others. But you finally got away from them and you've let them go. You let go of all the things they said to you or you're trying to let go of all the things they said to you. And now they're trying to contact you again. And it's like just when you let go of all the things they said or you're having to do so. Clarifying the Eight of Cups is the full card Aquarius. Yeah, you're leaving, walking away, having a new beginning. Not a swords. You're going to get that new beginning no matter what. Over on you being the strength and the justice card, Libra. So taking legal action, um, justice is being served on this person as well. Because it's like as soon as you leave, you come into a small amount of money or you come into a small amount of money that allows you to leave. I keep saying small, but it's more than enough for you to leave this person and to go off on your own safely. Just keep it to yourself. I feel like um, as soon as you leave, you get this blessing. And also this person falls on hard times. Like This is like this person just... Okay, so for those of you who left a long time ago, this person is coming back around and bringing up all the, the traumas and things that they said to you in the past. Do not meet up with this person. They may try to physically fight you or argue with you or demand to see you. If they do see you, or if you do give this person a chance, they're just going to repeat exactly what they did again. For others of you, if you are just now leaving this person, trust that they're going to double down on the love bombing and harassing you until you take them back. Just have the strength to walk away. And I see you doing so with strength, eight of cups, the full card, nine of swords, and justice. So your justice is having the strength to walk away. You get a blessing of a fortune that allows you to physically move from this person, away from this person. I'm sorry this reading had to be like this. I can't control what comes out. But if this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me. All of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, her Etsy is linked below. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste, Libra, and be safe.